What's going on guys, Kami here. In today's video we're going to do a drift build on the R34 GTR. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for my performance, I went ahead with the RB26. You know, I had to stay with the stock engine. You know, I, I just love the RB26. It just sounds so aggressive to me. So I just definitely wanted to keep it the way it was before. There's no need for, to do a change on it. So everything is ultimate plus from the, from the crankshaft to the ECU to the cooling to the exhaust. And then for my turbo, I went ahead and put dual turbos in there. Got to put the dual turbos on there. Uh, for my nitrous, I went with the 5 times 3 pound tanks. Uh, for my chassis, for my suspension, I went with the Pro Drift suspension. For my brakes, I went with the Elite brakes. Okay, so for my tires, I went with the Super Drag tires. Uh, I tried the Elite ones, but it was way too grippy. Um, these are the cheese way right now, but sooner or later, I'm going to try to change my drift set up for another improvement so stay tuned for that and then for my my clutch I went with the elite plus clutch for my gearbox I stick with the six speed six speed is definitely the most easiest one for me right now um, it's easy with the transition and I just I just easy with the transitions from different cornering so I feel like that's the most easiest for me and then for my differential I went ahead with the the pro drift differential so everything is pretty much drift besides the tires which is the drag tires so my auxiliary I have for is the elite repair kit and then for my passive I have the damage reduction to reduce the cops from hitting me if I'm working out I me mean, if I'm doing nighttime crashes or anything like that so that's the, that's the performance for my car so let's go ahead and get into the customization um, overall I try to keep it the same way it looked like before but with a little minor tweaks and, and a couple things from that so for my front bumper I just kept the Nissan front bumper um, has a little boxy type uh, vibe to it but I still like it It looks still pre pretty aggressive there's not too much customization in here that I really felt that was appealing to me I mean I could probably do this one but I don't really like it that much um, yes I don't really like it uh, so for my front lip I kept with the carbon splitters I like that one the most. Um, I didn't put no Carnars on here because I didn't really like the Carnars on here. I stuck with the front hood. No changes on that one. For my front fenders, I kept the Nissan one. Uh, other everything else looked kind of weird. I just didn't like the like the way those front fenders had looked. Period. So I just kept it as the stock ones. For my side skirts, I kept the the Nissan. There was no need to do any changes on those as well because I didn't like it. It didn't match either, neither the body line for the front or the rear fender so I just kept it as that and then for my rear fenders I kept the uh, the Nissan fenders as well gave me a little bit of uh, um, space for my uh, rear tires so I just kept it like that I blacked out the tail lights for my rear bumper I kept the Nissan as well uh, everything else kind of looked identical so I just kept it as that one uh, for my diffuser I went with the carbon lit, uh, diffuser as well uh, this one I like the most so I just it looked pretty aggressive to me, so I just chose that one. And then for my exhaust tips, I chose the Speed Hunter exhaust tips. Uh, solid black exhaust tips. I definitely like those. Matches the the ch color with my the rest of the car. And the spoiler, I kept it as the stock spoiler. Can't go wrong with the stock spoiler. It just looks pretty good to me. And then you, you know I got to represent my name, Okami. So that's that's uh, pretty much the customization portion. Uh, for my front, for my wheels, I went ahead with, I think I'm going to go ahead and add the, the Toyo tires on here uh, for the one time, one time, even though it's not going to show in the video, but go, go, ahead, go ahead and put those on real quick. You know, I love, I love the Toyo tires. They, they look the best to me. I, I do like their brand, so of course I had to represent. And then for my rims, I went ahead and just kept with the Nissan uh, Nismo LM GT force and I went ahead and blacked those out with the border line looking with the red matching with the color of the car so that's the customization portion if I haven't already mentioned the headlights are blacked out as well so for my coloring I decided I designed this myself um, it's not too bad of a bad wrap overall um, I like it doesn't look too too bad at all in my opinion uh, gotta represent my uh, the gang, the wolf gang and whatnot in the back 
it is a Japanese car and I am currently living in Japan I haven't told you guys that but I actually do live in Japan right now I'll be leaving next year but uh, overall it's my favorite it's by far the best country that I've been to so far um, and then at the top building destroy so uh, overall I just love building cars and, and seeing how they work but this has been a good car that I definitely enjoyed using so okay so for my nitrous I went ahead with the the red nitrous red smoke and air suspension on there and then for my stance everything is to the far left uh, put my camera notches to a little bit to the right and my rear cameras to the, to the uh, right as well like I said I feel like the the stances doesn't affect the way you d get your drift angle so um, take that with a grain of salt but I definitely don't see any changes from, from how I have it and this is how my baby sounds sounds just like RB26 to be honest sounds pretty nice and aggressive I like it alright guys so that is the customization so uh, in the next part I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like a little miniature slideshow of what it looks like and then after that we're going to go ahead and get into the live tuning alright guys for my live tuning I went ahead and stuck with the same tuning setup that I have like I always do and since the update it looks kinda different compared to before but I definitely like it. it looks looks a little more appealing to me I just like the way the UI is set up so uh, let's get into the steering sensitivity is all the way to the right uh, for my downforce is all the way to the left uh, tra traction control is off and then gas drift is still the same so uh, in the next part we got a good gameplay of the first mission that Wayne gave you for let's slide after after the let's slide mission of course and for those ones that saw my left slide video yeah so you saw how I had a hard time transitioning or hitting the corners so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay Wow. 
Hey guys, so that was the end of the gameplay. Overall, definitely was a good transition from the first time I tried that race. Of course, I tried with the 180SX, but um, I've gone, I come a long way compared to the last time I did that race. And I'm pretty sure if I use the exact same car, it would be different. But that was that's the end of the video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm going to come at you guys with a different setup. So I hope that you stay tuned for that. But and I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button. Comment, subscribe, share to your friends. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace out.